For those of you familiar with the horror film The Conjuring, you will have a brief idea of what happened to the real Perrin family. A paranormal event which took place in that farmhouse in Rhode Island would go on to terrify millions. In 1970, the Perrin family, Roger and Carolyn, with their daughters, moved into what is now called the Real Conjuring House, a 200-acre property in Harrisville, Rhode Island. They started to experience strange activity straight away. Items going missing. The sound of something scraping the kettle in the kitchen when no one was in that room. The girls began to notice spirits around the house, though for the most part they were harmless. There were a few, however, that were angry. Carolyn allegedly researched the history of the home and discovered that it had been in the same family for eight generations and that many of them had died under mysterious or horrible circumstances. Several of the children had drowned in a nearby creek. One was murdered and a few of them hanged themselves in the attic. The parents believed that the main spirit was that of Bathsheba Sherman a woman who lived in the property in the 1800s and was rumoured to be a witch. When one of her kids died, she was blamed, but it was eventually cleared. Her grave is located not far from the house. According to Andrea Perrin, the family experienced other spirits as well that smelled like rotten flesh and would cause beds to rise off the floor. She claims her father would enter the basement and feel a cold, stinking presence behind him. They often stayed away from the dirt-floored cellar, but the heating equipment would often fail mysteriously, causing Roger to venture down. Famed demonologists Edna Lorraine Warren visited the property a few times, and on the visits was the famous seance in which Carolyn Perrin was levitated in the air and thrown on the ground with such force they thought she was dead. Roger tried to check on her but Ed stopped him and Roger punched him in the face. After that Ed and Lorraine would leave and never return. The haunting lasted until the family moved out in 1980. Since then more residents who have lived on the property say the haunting continues to this day. Andrew Perrin wrote a book about the home which became the inspiration for the 2013 horror film The Conjuring. It is a target for paranormal investigators and has been covered on shows such as Ghost Adventures and Sam and Colby. Would you visit this house? Let us know down below.